Okay, um, I hope this image is not too uh, too daunting. But we're going to talk about a program called Radio Mobile, written by uh, Roger Cood, VE2, Delta Bravo Echo, Canadian amateur. It's been around for quite a while. I remember in uh, Windows 98 days I first loaded it on the computer and uh, like yourselves sort of looked at it and thought how the dickens you get this thing to work but uh, since then it's improved a hell of a lot and um, as you can see by this map in front of you this is the map I would use for doing most of our portable contests for a VK3R we can look at um, you know regular locations and work out what our path loss is going to be like between different bands so it looks a bit messy on the screen there but uh, it certainly serves its purpose that's for sure <laughs> okay now radio mobile first of all we need to go and um, we need to go and download the program so we go to the radio mobile website and in the manual <coughs> it'll tell you uh, which files to download but we'll just show you uh, just briefly if you're running older versions of uh, Windows now the radio mobile will work I think Windows 95 98 uh, Millennium Edition Windows 2000 Windows XP but no version for Vista and there is a version for window for Linux wine wine yeah, wine there is a uh, a group that are dedicated to running it on under wine uh, so yeah step one for older versions of Windows and and or Linux Wine, you need to download this um, Visual Basic file here. So we probably won't need to download that. Step two, create a program directory. C colon backslash radio underscore mobile. Well, you really don't in the, most of the Windows boxes these days. It's only for the old DOS boxes. You need to put the underscore in. You can leave a space there if you like. But uh, yeah, now we download the three three items here. We need to get the um, uh, the map, I'm oh sorry, the map, the actual program. We need to get uh, the uh, update file and we need to get the English language. I don't know if I call those a plugin or not. And now we're going on to, um, so those three, those, those are the three files you must have to install it onto Windows machine. And it's got here uh, directory for the data for the directory structure or data directory structure geodata, geodata, S SRTM1, SRTM3, GoTopo. I never created these directories. Um, it seems to work okay without them. If you wanted to go and create all those, you could. Now, this is pretty important. If you guys have been playing around with Radio Mobile, and you've got it on your computer you should be reading this step 7 ensure that no other instances of rmwdlx32.dll exists on your system if you have um, if you have it on there it'll cause problems with it so if you've run radio mobile before uh, I'd probably be trying to update it but uh, not reinstall the program and by the way, you don't really have to install this program. You just lay it into the, you just place it onto the into the folder on C drive and hit the EXE, and it just opens the program up. It's not like a Windows. It's not one of those Windows programs where you can uninstall it using the Windows uninstaller. It doesn't appear there. And then there's uh, yeah, special thanks to a few different um, places. And um, then there's a Radio Mobile Yahoo group. Like all these uh, groups, like this one, if you subscribe to it. Be prepared for bucket loads of emails every day from it. Uh, okay, so we download the we download the uh, program. Next, we need some maps, and I've got over here another link up here. This link here, and I suppose you can pause the video if you want to write it down, but it is in the manual, and it's in PDF format. I think it should be a, a URL link in PDF, so you can link straight to it if you're reading the PDF file in front of the uh, or with the internet connected. These are the maps, S, uh, version 2, SRTM3 for Australia. There's a stack of them, the whole of Australia. Don't ask me which ones are Victoria and which ones are not. But there's a big stack of them there. To download those, you can start clicking on them. There'd be uh, over a gigabyte of files there. Click on them. 
and uh, it'll get about most browsers will get about three at a time and then you've got to wait till one one finishes before the next one can start and you, and you can't select them all or you can but it gets a bit lost after a while in uh, I bought up Firefox I don't normally use Firefox myself I'll probably end up using it more often as uh, Opera gets uh, less and less more popular and uh, it doesn't work with websites which seems to be happening uh, there's an application in um, for uh, Mozilla download them all very nice someone put me onto this the other week what this will do it's gone and looked on this website and it's found all of the files just open that up all the files that are actually downloadable so basically what we do we just go through and we just mark all the ones we want so we would go right down that page there down to the bottom mark all those maps where do we want to put them I've got this one I downloaded some other maps there in one file called bulk download uh, 152 links there are there's probably about 147 maps that you're going to download and um, yeah the folder then you hit start and go to bed or go to work whichever and hopefully when you come back it's all done okay so uh, that'll save you a hell of a lot of work but the, the, the hardest thing though really the hardest thing let's close this file down is this link now they're coming from nasa.gov nasa.gov have actually FTP service but I've never been able to get the FTP server to talk to me so it tells me that it's down on Wednesdays what is it Monday today maybe it's Wednesday over in um, over at, uh, at NASA but I'm not sure but I can never ever get them off the FTP server but this obviously this uh, Japanese side is coming off the FTP server at NASA so uh, yeah so that's one um, one place to get the maps and there are a couple of others too and I've listed those uh, I've listed those in the um, in the manual. I should have gone back about back a couple of pages, but uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up the uh, oh here it is here yeah, this will do sitting down there. This one here, this link here. If we bring that one up. Okay, here we go. This actually shows the maps. A different, this is a different place to get the maps from. Where's this one coming from? Ooh, CSI. Uh, so I'm not sure where that is. Uh, now, if you're looking for Australia, basically this um, anywhere on this map here, if you just click on these little boxes here, just pick the area of interest so you don't have to download bucket loads of them. Uh, get a bit of South South Australia, Victoria, Tasmania, a bit of New South Wales there. There we go. We can just download that section. So if we go click uh, here to begin the search, and it'll come down with images of what parts we're actually grabbing. You can see there. Same deal. We're not in Opera. Oh, sorry, we're not in uh, Firefox at the moment, but we can use download them all to get all of these sections of maps. Oh, that's it they're showing you the part of Tasmania that you're there on the left and the right there you go so um, yeah you can download little sections of the map or other countries too if you're looking for um, if you're looking to uh, go portable somewhere and see what the terrain's like in the country somewhere you can download maps for that country and see how you're going to go getting into the repeater at uh, I don't know Venezuela or something like that from where you're staying in the hotel okay here we go uh, so yeah basically um, the next video will show you uh, the setup for the program where the maps go how to activate the um, units set up a network all that sort of stuff but, uh, okay that's about enough for this video